Hello and welcome back. Now today I'm going to talk about cow induction. Now cow induction has been around since the 60s. It's very popular basically aftermarket modification. They're very popular hoods and for a lot of people they do create more hood clearance for high rise intakes, breathers and all that good stuff. Now a lot of people are still confused about how cow induction works. Well it's pretty simple it actually comes, the air comes off the windshield. A lot of people think that the air just goes completely straight up over that windshield and out the back. Well, some of it does. But some of it actually comes back down the windshield. And that's why a lot of vehicles you have your cows that is right below the windshield. And that's usually where your vents are. Now, if you have a truck like this, there's actually a vent that's partially covered. You can actually remove it, open it up, and while you're going down the road, the air that's coming off the windshield is actually going down and around and hitting your legs. So you can actually feel the air coming from the windshield down it down there. Now, these are they're good hoods if you use them right. Some people use them for heat to release heat, which is probably not the best way. Now, when you're sitting still. Heat does come out, heat rises, it comes out. But when you're going down the road and you got air coming in through the front and then you got this air coming in, it can create kind of a negative pressure effect that you probably don't want. But now, if you have a functional cow induction, such as our ADC-10, where I built an air pan for it, it is actually designed so that you do not suck in the hot engine temperature or the under hood temperatures of the engine and instead you're only breathing in the outside air which is a lot cooler than what's under the hood for better performance now also the faster you go the more air that's getting shoved in there and it just allows the engine to breathe a lot better when it's a properly set up cow induction setup that's why a lot of drag cars use it. It's not only for the hood clearance, but then they're also using it to their advantage by making air pans and such so that they can actually pull in the cooler air from the outside. Now, not only did this one give us hood clearance, but we're also drawing the cold air from outside rather than under here. Now, there's a lot of heat buildup under these hoods, like I said, but good functional cow induction will work wonders as you can see air filters in there opens up from the back side on this one so that all the air coming through from the windshield into the cow is going into the air cleaner and around it so it can suck it into the engine and it's cool fresh air now this is not the most scientific test, but there's three pieces of tape. They're taped to the edge of the scoop and they're laid back. And they're folded over so there's no sticky side showing so it won't stick. But we'll just see how the air comes up and then it'll come back down hopefully. Now 
I know that wasn't the best scientific test, but as you can see, cow inductions do work. Now, granted that this really should be a little bit closer and all this should be about right here and then upwards of the slope and that would make it even more effective. And then of course, if you had an air pan or something underneath to seal it off, it'd be extremely effective. So, it is just not exactly a scientific experiment, but you can kind of see how well or how it works. Now, unfortunately, there is no way I could dye the air or make it colored where you could actually see it flow and through there, but you kind of get the idea. Now, hopefully this video proved helpful, and as always, thanks for watching.